text if you like, 35192. One of the great reasons they might have tarantulas. Some of our listeners in Oklahoma said, yeah, we do have uh, big spiders and tarantulas here. But another reason that I would think a place like Tulsa might be so attractive to somebody like Pound Cake is there's a guy there by the name of Joe Exotic. And I'm pretty sure that we've talked about this guy before. This is a guy who ran a private zoo in Oklahoma. If you Google Joe Exotic, he will look exactly the way you want him to look, like a bleach blonde mullet. He's got like a goatee and some earrings and stuff. Um, But he just got 22 years in prison because he tried to hire a hitman to kill someone who was criticizing the fact that he had a private zoo. So it wasn't enough for this guy to have a private zoo in Oklahoma. Um, He got his fair share of detractors. Criticize, criticize, criticize. And a couple years ago, he ran for governor of Oklahoma. Now, in a state like Oklahoma, what I understand of it is, hiring a hitman to kill somebody doesn't necessarily preclude you from running for, you know, government office. Just slap a libertarian tag on there and pretty much let you do whatever you want. And so he put a bunch of campaign videos on YouTube, and we probably played these at the time, but Joe Exotic is going to prison. So... That leaves a giant Joe Exotic-sized hole in the private zoo community. And you need to fill that hole, Pound Cake. With something. With Maybe something? not him. I don't know that he's ever aspired to own a private zoo like that Matt Damon movie. We Bought a Zoo? Is oh, that, that was Kevin James. Was it? That's the no, zookeeper. That's the zookeeper. Oh. We Bought a Zoo is Matt Damon, okay. I think. Right? I have no mm. idea. Yeah, I think so. Didn't actually catch that one, though. No, and the zookeeper was what is terrible. The, what is the um, crime for hiring a hitman? Is it like intent to murder Yeah, I think something? so. Like, yeah. Attempted murder, right? Or in, intent, because he's not actually... Did it get as far as the guy actually going out and no, I tracing think it, him? No, it I think it was a... Um, or they he, just saw that he had hired somebody and... Yeah, it was, um, he, part of it was he violated federal wildlife laws. Um, he tried to arrange the killing of an animal sanctuary founder hmm. who complained about what this guy was doing. Uh, they also sentenced him for killing five tigers, selling tiger cubs. So it's like this, not like yeah. this guy was working for PETA. Okay. This guy was doing all kinds of shady stuff. So he, not just for the hitman thing. No. He had a bunch but of But obviously he said that he was innocent of all these charges video message number one of 333 videos that i'm going to be putting up over the next 11 months i ain't cutting my hair i ain't changing the way i dress the earrings are staying so you're going to hear some colorful over the next 11 months and if you don't like it you know where the stop button is through my years i have tried some drugs i ain't got (laughs) nothing to be ashamed of hell i've done it all I've had some of the kinkiest sex you can imagine. I've been to dirty <laughs> stores, you name it. There you go. That was one of his uh, fantastic... Uh, dirty... Cam- one of his <laughs> <Did> campaign they- <laughs> videos. Did they bleep out the word books? Dirty books? <laughs> yeah. uh. I've been to dirty bookstores. <laughs> <laughs> it's a curse word down here yeah. in Oklahoma. Number one of 333 videos that I'm going to be putting up over the next 11 months. I ain't cutting my hair. I ain't changing the way I dress. The earrings are staying. So you're going to hear some colorful <laughs> over the next 11 months and if you don't like it you know where the stop button is through my years i have tried some drugs i ain't got nothing to be ashamed of hell i've done it all i've had some of the kinkiest sex you can imagine i've been to dirty stores you name it (laughs) i think they bleeped out books i think they bleeped out f yeah. He probably What's calls a them, dirty F store? Probably a set, How like a in Oklahoma store? that we don't Adult, know about. Uh, shop or something. But it's be like fantastic if they bleeped out book. <laughs> I like that he's talking about his kinkiest sex while owning a private zoo. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's not like, the best time to talk right, about that. But like, like, yeah, I'm really into weird things what? when it comes to sex. <laughs> exactly. Also, like, I own an exotic private zoo. Right. Yeah. And the animals... Have seen my private zoo. <laughs> yeah, have like, uh, mixed feelings about me. Really mixed feelings. He finished third in a three-way primary as the Libertarian candidate for Oklahoma governor. Uh, he's gay. He had a he had a 23-year-old husband oh. who uh, shot himself in the head. <gasps> Before or after all this? Before, I think. So it might have been. I'm saying, is it what tipped the scales? or was I don't it? know. Maybe he did something to the boyfriend after he shot himself, and that's under the umbrella of the kinky, kinky stuff. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
Maybe he called his boyfriend a bookstore, and that's what <laughs> <laughs> that was his, his little pet name yeah. for him. Yeah, I, I banged a bookstore a hundred mm-hmm. times. You little learned hottie. Use right. a bookstore. So, yeah. Uh, he finished so, third, which means some people voted for him. Some He was a write-in mm-hmm. candidate, and some people <laughs> voted for him. He goes by Joe Exotic. His name was uh, Joe Maldonado Passage, I guess. I don't know where he's from. I don't know if he's Cajun or what, but he was up there in Oklahoma City. Seems like a guy who he's has a snake. He's going away for a while. Like a yeah. guy who has a snake who who's like, whose favorite thing about it is that its jaw hinges, and he's like, I like this. I like the cut of this guy's jib. You I know like what? what he's saying. I see what you're doing, and I'm <laughs> all for it. Wider the better. I took its teeth out, but that was for other reasons. <laughs> that was for security purposes. I was a little thin in the gift shop. I needed some snake tooth necklaces. <laughs> a toothless snake is nature's fleshlight. That's all. <laughs> it unhinges for a reason. Nature's <laughs> fleshlight mm-hmm. at the Beachland Ballroom this weekend. <laughs> so, Pound Cake, it doesn't bother you that Ohio has snakes and all kinds of other things. He's but on the, the phone. T- well, the tarantulas bother him. Yeah, he's, okay. he's gone on record about not being a fan of spiders. Same. Right. Yeah. I'm just saying, though, the way climate change and all, it's just throwing different species all over okay. the place, well, right? There's be, like lizards in Ohio that uh, here to She's going on tour. They'll be here, here eventually, before. and then I have to deal with them. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. What do well, you do? You dislike rats more than you dislike spiders? No, I, I can. I'm fine with rats. I'm fine with snakes. Snakes don't bother me. My mom's. Back back in the day, my mom's boyfriend had a red tail boa constrictor, Ugh. and I thought it was cool. I I used to watch the snake eat the rats because I thought I was like, oh my gosh, it's so I don't know. He'd feed it's him like, rats. Uh, yeah, what's the word? Animal, not animals. It's like a. It doesn't matter. Like you don't have to. <laughs> I, I've I've always maintained it's like instinct. I've always know? maintained mm-hmm. that people who have snakes want snakes so they can feed smaller animals to them. Yeah, for because sure. Because you don't have to feed snakes other animals. No. But guys who have snakes love putting mice in their mouth mm-hmm. or what, you know. Mm-hmm. And listen, I'm no hardcore animal guy, but I always thought that was a little gross. There's like no great reason to like have a snake. Like they're into the murder part of it. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Well, yeah, or like it, it was weird because he would put the, the mice or, I don't know if it was mice or rats, but um, he would put him in the cage, and then I was like, "Oh, so do I just watch away?" He was like, "Oh, well, let me just get a bat and just like hit, hit him a little bit, just so it makes him stir crazy." I'm like, uh, uh, "Oh, okay." And so he would take the bat and just like hit the rat. This was your mom's boyfriend. Yeah, this time. was him ingratiating himself to you. Stir crazy. Yeah. Like it would just he, so it the mouse like damage. wouldn't hide. Yeah. No, not like hit it with a bat like that. Like tap at it so it tap. would run. Yeah, and then, and then the snake mm-hmm. would catch it. Yep. He said hit it with a bat. But that's not what he meant. Okay. I, don't, I only I know, know what he says. Right? Right? You can, no. I don't know what he means. I you, only hear what he says. Well, you can't hit it too hard because it's a splatter and it also break but, the glass. But he would hit it and then it would make mice afraid and then it would make the snake pissed off or something and then it would strike. Okay. Huh. Your mom's not the best at picking dudes. This, this was year, This was like over a decade ago. She like, knew I he know. had a snake? I know what I'm saying. Like, no, yeah, she, she, she didn't did. get a snake, but I, I thought it was so cool watching it. No, but she knew he had a snake. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Snakes are just so weird to me. I don't like it. My I like the word snake. I think it's a funny I, it's word. Not, I, don't, I, don't I don't mind them. I think they're. I think they're. Uh, I think they're objectively cool they animals. Are cool creatures. But I, like I to have one, it's, it's, a a yeah. it's a weird pet. It's a weird pet. Snakes it's, don't love you. A great animal. <laughs> they don't love you. Weird they don't. Pet. But they're beautiful. Oh my god. They are. God. They're cool to look at. But uh, you can't get a snake as like a. It's not a companion thing like a dog or a cat. You're gonna skin it. I like the people. Who they find murdered in their home by their exotic pet. Yeah. I yeah. like those. People are like, I'm gonna, these nutbags who think because they're people that they're gonna have dominion over everything. Mm-hmm. And they don't really this understand This lion how. loves me. <laughs> it's a lion, dude. Well, that may work for you. Nothing bad may ever happen to you when you're sleeping in the nook of a lion. Mm. But chances are, I wouldn't want to tempt that. Right. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Alan. First time, long time. Hey, thanks, Tyler. What's up? I got an idea for Pound Cake's punishment. All right. What about Pregonate Pound Cake? Now, how would that work? Well, you know, like, um, when the husband will get those strap-on bellies for, like, sympathy. Oh, the, the sympathy inspector. belly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And he could do that at his day job, too. I mean, he's only got to be, what, like from shoulders up while he's interviewing people? We we, we got to buy a pregnancy sympathy belly and make Pound Cake wear it? Unless someone yeah. wants to borrow it. Maybe he's he do he, a makeshift one? He's done all this work to get himself into beach shape, Tyler, and now... <laughs> I mean, I'll still be skinny underneath. 
<laughs> but I could see him just bitching about my back hurts yeah. all day long. My feet are swollen. <laughs> I gotta go off my feet. <laughs> that would be super annoying. Like, I got cravings. We're like it's a fake belly. I still yeah. got cravings. <laughs> I'm eating for two. I have to drive like that. I mean, yeah, that's one of the more. That's pretty uh, funny. That's one of the more obtuse uh, <laughs> suggestions I've heard, Tyler. I don't. I don't hate that. I don't hate that either. I technically, like that. my pregnant belly and one of those fake like babies. That. He is technically if you correct. Don't like that. You could do like a hunchback pound cake, like quasi pound cake, quasi cake. <laughs> hunchback pound cake. Put it on his back instead of his belly. Uh huh. All right, well, uh, you've given us a lot to think about, Tyler. Thank you. To buy bigger clothes. Hey, no problem. Right. The right. Could I bottom of Alan Cox? How do I know if I'm Prengan? What is the best time to sex to become pregnant? The, the hunchback of what? <laughs> the hunchback of the Alan Cox show. I'm, I'm going right. to walk into Target. Um, where's your pregnant man section, please? Right. He's wearing maternity pants. <laughs> can we call you quasi homo? You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> I don't want to, but it's right. Boy, it's, it's right, right there. there. I don't right want there. to do that. I think it's mm-hmm. offensive and awful, but boy, what am I going to do? Pretty good. I I'll, can't help myself. I'm also going to put a comment box on my Instagram so you guys can hit me with your punishment ideas so I can just get one out of the way so you guys can leave me alone. A comment Every box. Every single butt person should just say. Pride cake. No. Share the top of his head. Well, then I just won't post them. So people can say it as many times as they want. I'm going to post the ideas that are not that. <laughs> So, I want that one so bad. I know well, yeah, we've do. already it's established that one. Like that's just my wrong. My birthday's in February. Can't you do it for my birthday? No. You wouldn't do anything even remotely close to that. Yeah, that's like you birthday. running outside in the speed up. I'm doing it. I'm not doing it for like it's a combination. I would do it if it's like his birthday and also I'm I'm, I'm doing good punishments. Right. I'm and not putting I'm asking off. for good punishments other than that. That's the best one. Well, too bad. You listen. You still got time to crowdsource. I know, and I, I. It's not like I am a team player. You act like every Nine year, like days. like I've not done a punishment every year. Every year I do it. It's good content, and I hate it. What more do you want? I want this one. Well, too bad. You know what I want. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Never gonna top the shot collar. I don't know that we're ever gonna top this. We certainly have to try. Yeah. We have to try, but I don't know that we'll ever top the shot collar. Oh, has yeah. attending the gathering been suggested for pound cakes punishment? It's not a punishment doing that anyway. We were talking about doing that as a show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's not a punishment. I totally go to that. that. Like... I, that's people watching to the nth degree. That's great. <laughs> To the what? Mm-th degree. <laughs> I like that. Mm-th. I'm a, me and Pancake are going to get all dressed degree. up. Mm-hmm. You're are you? Be a juggler. I'll be a juggalette. A juggalette, yeah. I'll wear some t shirt that's half cut off, some pigtails. Okay. I'm picturing Harley Quinn. I don't know if that's what juggalettes look like. Uh, not quite. I, sometimes they're not yeah. that petite. I'm, well, I'm saying uh, fashion wise. Okay. Ripped up yes. stockings, yeah. yep. little shorts, sure. half a shirt. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe I could just Google it. You I could bet the Google hashtag it. Juggalette on Instagram is probably a good one. I'm not afraid of ghosts. I'm not afraid of ghosts. I'm not afraid of cancer. I'm just afraid of things. They really creep me out. Where are their arms and legs? Ah, <laughs> uh, love me some Gene Belcher. Gene Belcher. Yeah, I'm getting the a lot. Best. Getting a lot of fishnets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pigtails. Yeah, yeah. Daddy's mm-hmm. little whore T-shirts yeah. and things like. Sure, yeah. Which I always thought was really creepy. That is very. Why creepy. is that the direction you're going? I get what you're doing. <laughs> That's what. Uh, I was watching some YouTube videos last night with my girlfriend, and it got to this one. We just watch weird people. I sent you one of them, mm-hmm. Aunt Mary. Because I took two Benadryl last night. Yeah, and it reminded me of this guy. That is pretty cool. And I was watching these, uh, we were watching these people that do like the daddy dom little girl like lifestyle. And it's so creepy. Like my girlfriend's like, I can't even watch this anymore. Like she was freaking out. It was so gross. Well, yeah, that's such a specific kink. Right. And like he's like changing her diaper and stuff. Oh, 
Oh, it's so bad. No bueno. No. Not good. Alan, my hillbilly friend, had a snake uh, a while back. And he was out of mice, so he shot a squirrel. <sighs> but the snake wouldn't eat it because it was cold. So he microwaved the squirrel. Oh, oh my God. And it exploded in his microwave. Oh People are God. disgusting. No. Yeah, because it's probably got the little metal... Uh, pellets in it still. Well, it's also got organs and things, yeah, and it's, well, it was well, live. And... Yeah, I mean, you gotta check to... the directions. <laughs> it's like when you, you hate that, yeah. when you throw away the box for the squirrel, right, and then you gotta yeah. check it again. You're like, dang, I just it's looked like, at this. Yeah, yeah. Usually, half of it explode, the other half still frozen solid. Right. <laughs> Stir <laughs> your squirrel. So what do you feed a snake if you're not gonna give it, like, live mice? Fish. I'm sure there's snake food or something. What is snake food? Warm it up. I don't know. I mean, what's mice are just protein. It's not like snakes Chicken? In, in the wild. Snakes. What do snakes eat in the wild? It's not like there's they mice running. Mice. Huh? Yeah, they eat. You think on the live plains animals. of the Serengeti they're looking for mice? They're not. I mean, pellets. Oh, ferrets or they're eating yeah, live they're eating animals. animals yeah. Could you give it like raw chicken? No, I don't think so. I don't think no. they would eat it. It wants a carcass. Mm-hmm. He wants to hunt. It wants something alive, right? Well, that's a why frog. It, that's why uh, homie would like hit the mice because it. I don't know, the thrill of the chase, or it would sometimes, like, disable it a little bit, so it would run with a limp. So he would actually hit the mice. He would tap them, but he's not going to, like, bash it. Yeah, but he would, like, give it, like, he would injure the mouse. Sometimes they would be hurt. Sometimes they would just be, you know, afraid, and they would run around. So, yeah, he would try to hit them, and sometimes he wouldn't have to because the snake would get it first. Mm. I googled what kind of food do snakes eat. I did too. What can you feed a snake? <laughs> but I like the third question down because they'll give you an array of questions. Third one down. Do snakes fart? <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody wanted to know if cheeks. snakes fart. They don't pass gas, but they'll often defecate in an attempt to scare predators off. Hey, I do that too. Hey. That's what I do in prison. Wow. Poop all over myself. Earthworms. You think that'll keep people away? <laughs> I said state your scent. <laughs> <laughs> Not your scent. Oh. Did you watch, have you seen the Mountain Dew uh, Super Bowl commercial with Brian Cranston? No. Brian, you know who Tracy Ellis Ross is, yeah? She's on that show Blackish. She's Diana, Di Ross's, Diana daughter. Ross's daughter. Um, Brian, I love these Super Bowl ads because they have such, the ones I've seen have such weird casting. Mm -hmm. Like Planners Peanuts has Matt Walsh and Wesley Snipes. This one has uh, Brian Cranston and Tracy Ellis Ross recreating The Shining from Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Have yeah. you seen this no. one? No. It's I'll weird. play If you're watching at alancockshow.com, I'll play it for you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. That's a good voice. I've got new Mountain Dew Zero Sugar with the same refreshing taste as the original. But without any of the sugar! <laughs> Here's Mountain Dew Zero. I am thirsty. Huh? <laughs> then the Mountain Dew flood out no. of the. Uh... You know who's gonna be excited about that? I Who? Like that. My mother. Oh yeah. Oh, she. Because she loves Mountain Dew or The Shining. She loves Diet Mountain Dew. There was like a whole thing when we were in Vegas. Diet Mountain Dew. She loves Diet Mountain Dew. That's I, not a thing. There's I, no Diet there Mountain Dew. There is Diet Mountain Dew. No, there is. Is. But it's not diet. Like there's no way you can drink Mountain Dew and be healthy. But go ahead. No, no, well, no diet pop is healthy. It's not healthy. It's just no sugar. Okay. So she, but that's what she likes to drink, and so everybody was trying to find it for her while we were in Vegas, and it wasn't at any of the stores that were near. The place, and I went to a Target, and I found it, and she was so grateful, and I was the hero to my mother on Christmas Day. The trouble is, too, if I'm going to drink a soda, I love Mountain Dew. Mountain I great. really do. I feel uh, whatever, but it's it's packaged exactly the same as Diet Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. So if you're not paying close attention, I've purchased Diet Mountain Dew before. I'm like, oh, you vile liquid! Like <laughs> I don't want anything to do with it. Just give it to my mom. And I don't know if it's psychosomatic that it tastes different, but it no, sure it does. does to me. It, does. it, does. it, does. it tastes different. Sugar all in like Diet the, Pop yeah, tastes different, but it still has. So sugar your mom, in it. your mom and I no, are like doesn't. your mom and I are like 14 year olds yeah. when it comes to soda. What, what, explain to me how. Something that doesn't have sugar in it has it may, sugar in it. It may has it may have less sugar, but there's still like glucose. It uh, has artificial dextrose, sweeteners like, in it. It's still it's yeah. still sugar. That's not sugar though. Okay. It's got other it's got things. Artificial it's artificial poison. Okay. But Ar that's artificial the, sweeteners aren't awesome for you either. No, right. The point is, but no zero sugar, sugar is more of a right. Yes. Right. It's not sugar, but it's still more of a marketing twist than anything else. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just thought that was funny. The Shining. 
I liked that. It's like my wife's favorite movie is The Shining. I don't think I've ever seen it. Fantastic. She and I went as The Shining twins for Halloween a couple of years. I've seen that in a picture. Row years ago. Well, you don't really like scary movies, so no, it's probably no, not no. up your alley. Mm-mm. I don't I don't mess with any. I haven't watched a scary movie since I was like 12. Yeah, but The Shining is such a great slow burn. It, like nothing's jumping out at you. There's you know no what, gore. Though? I mean, there's it's you know, intense. There's blood coming out of the elevator, but it's not, you know, it's in slow mo. Yeah, it's, not, it's not really a jump scare movie. No. It's just really messed up. Yeah. It's good. I watched the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episode where they... And it. was that scary to you? No. Give me the back. Yeah. Give me the back. <laughs> give me the back. Give me the back. Give me the back. Boom. Uh, Breaking case of insane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so great. She's like, oh, Jelly would be good tonight when she throws him into the pantry. Yeah. Um, yeah, I watched it. So I feel like it's almost ruined. No, it's still pretty good. Like, I know what happened. You've gotten too many of the beats of it then. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Same thing like when I watched I watched a scary movie. You know, the, the, mm-hmm. the and then I watched Usual, Usual Suspects after that. And then, like, the scene came up where it was all about to come to a head. And I was like, no, nah! like, I figured it that out. You know what it. I mean? Because of friggin' scary movie. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? But still, it's not such, the same. still such a great movie. Oh, even I if you love know it's Usual coming. Suspects. Yeah. yeah, that's one of my favorites. But mm. I just bought a bunch of, well, I bought all the James Bond movies. And I've been watching them and going through them. And man, those early ones, some of the situations that are supposed to be like real intense do not age well. Like there's a scene in uh, Thunderball where he's on a traction machine that's supposed to like stretch him out. And first of all, this machine in, in and of itself looks like it's just going to ruin your body. Yeah. Right. Like it's like it's it's like it's got like a strap around your chest and then around your legs and it just goes huh, huh, and like pulls you. Ugh. And then somebody like cranks it up for and so he's just getting like in and, and the way they shoot it and stuff, he's just getting yanked a bunch and then you're just like, Well that doesn't that's not like the most dangerous thing I've ever seen anybody be put through. <laughs> Didn't he's, have much of a budget. He's just, he's just getting jostled. Right. <laughs> Do you, ex- do, you, do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to shed calories. <laughs> I expect you to stretch. That's right. And can you stop punching women? I expect you to limber up. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I expect you to pay your secretary a living wage. <laughs> <laughs> she should be Miss Money Dollar. <laughs> All right, I've uh, got a break. When we return, I will have, if you're on hold, I'll grab you, but we'll put somebody on Mary's Polar Blast tubing team. We're going back to Boston Mills Brandywine on the 7th, one week from Friday. And if you want to get the details on joining us, go to alancockshow.com. Use the keyword Polar Blast. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And every-